Welcome to the Jewellers Journal, a Robertson Co. podcast where we unravel the world of gemstones, precious metals, jewellery design and craftsmanship. I'm your host Barry Roberts, inviting you to step into our world, one where every piece tells a story. Whether you're a jewellery aficionado, a passionate collector or simply curious about the sparkle behind our creations, we're glad to have you here. So let's dive into the fascinating stories and intricate details behind our stunning collections and learn about the extraordinary craft of jewellery making. So sit back, relax and let's start our journey into the mesmer world of the jeweller here at Robertson Co and today we're discussing art and history and rings in betrothal as told by Renaissance paintings. Imagine a world of colour, fervour and artistic revolution, a period when art mirrored life and life was reflected in art. We find ourselves in the Renaissance, a time when the custom of betrothal rings was a well-established tradition and an integral part of the journey two individuals took towards matrimony. This period, famed for its enriched cultural developments, offers a beautiful and detailed visual account of betrothal customs through the eyes of its renowned painters. The custom of betrothal and the symbolism of the ring have been depicted vividly in the art of the time, providing us with an opportunity to delve into this romantic tradition. In an era dominated by religious themes, artists often chose to depict biblical scenes, including the betrothal of the Virgin Mary and Joseph, so providing an insight into societal norms around the betrothal ring. As we journey through the art galleries of history, we witness the narratives these paintings convey and draw connections with the present, inspiring our collections at Robertson Co. So let's explore them together. In the vast panorama of human history, art has consistently served as a vivid chronicle of our past. From cave paintings to the intricate brush strokes of Renaissance masters, art offers us more than aesthetic pleasure. It acts as a conduit, connecting us to different epochs and cultures, and bringing to life the traditions, rituals and customs that have shaped our world. Frescoes and paintings from the Renaissance period offer a particularly fascinating glimpse into the customs of those times. These artworks, often meticulously detailed, depict scenes of daily life, celebrations and ceremonies, allowing us to peek into the socio-cultural dynamics of that era. As we delve into the tradition of betrothal rings and the symbolism, we will use art as our guide, drawing upon the works of Renaissance masters to illuminate this unique aspect of our cultural history. One of the most fascinating depictions of betrothal ring customs can be found in the Guerlain Dio brothers' fresco, The Wedding of the Virgin Mary. Located in Santa Maria Novella, Florence, and painted between 1486 and 1490, this stunning artwork captures a pivotal moment in history. In the fresco, Joseph is seen placing a ring on the extended finger of Mary's left hand. What's remarkable about this scene is that it's a depiction of betrothal, not the wedding ceremony, a distinction important in understanding the historical use of rings. This fresco provides a window into the customs and societal norms of the time, offering a tangible visual representation of the tradition of betrothal rings. It's a timeless piece of art that brings a historical practice to life, offering viewers a glimpse of a moment frozen in time. In the rich tapestry of Renaissance art, one of the standout pieces is Raphael's La Sposalizzo, The Betrothal. Housed in Milan's renowned art collections, this masterpiece echoes the symbiology explored in the Guerlain Dio Brothers fresco. It delves deeper into the practice of using rings in betrothal ceremonies, an essential precursor to today's engagement and wedding traditions. Raphael's painting is celebrated for its luminous portrayal of the pivotal moment when Joseph, betrothed to the Virgin Mary, offers her a ring. Much like in the Guerlain Dio's fresco, Mary's hand is extended to receive this token of love and commitment. Here, the hand placement implies an acceptance of the proposal, further emphasising the importance of the betrothal ring in the ceremony. What sets La Sposalizzo apart, however, is its romantic allure and visual storytelling. The painting's rich palette and the character's delicate gestures offer an intimate glimpse into this momentous occasion. The painting's title, meaning the betrothal, underscores the central role of the ring exchange in these early marriage rites. 
Interesting, like other artworks from this era, it isn't clear on which of Mary's fingers Joseph will place the ring. This small ambiguity adds a layer of intrigue to the artwork and mirrors the fluid nature of traditions across cultures and time periods. In essence, Raphael's La Sposalizzo offers a timeless testament to the enduring nature of love and the symbolic power of rings in expressing such commitments. In the conversation of depictions of the betrothal ceremony, one cannot overlook the contributions of Pietro Perugino, a prominent figure in the Italian Renaissance. His painting, titled Sposalizzo, similarly portrays the moment of the betrothal of Mary and Joseph. This painting provides yet another angle from which to explore the customs of ring exchange during this period. Perugino's portrayal features Mary with her right hand extended, similar to Raphael's interpretation in La Sposalizzo. This poses a fascinating point of discussion, given the variation from the Girl and Dio brothers portrayal, where Mary extends her left hand. However, it's important to note that in all these works, it's challenging to definitely discern on which finger the ring will be placed by Joseph. This detail, although seemingly small, opens a wider discussion on the nuances of customs across different periods and regions. Regardless of the subtle variations between these Renaissance works, what remains clear is the symbolic importance of the ring in betrothal ceremonies, a tradition that has endured and evolved over the centuries. In our journey through the annals of history, examining the role of rings in betrothal ceremonies, we come to a fascinating question, which finger was traditionally used for these rites? The paintings from the Renaissance period, rich in their historical and cultural context, provide some intriguing insights. The ring finger, particularly on the left hand, is generally associated with the tradition of betrothal and marriage rings. This tradition reportedly originated from a Roman belief, the vena amoris, or vein of love, which suggested a vein ran directly from the fourth finger of the left hand to the heart. Looking closely at the aforementioned paintings, it isn't easy to discern upon which finger of Mary's hand the ring would be placed by Joseph. In the fresco by the Girl and Dio brothers, Mary extends her left hand, hinting at the practice of ring placement on the left hand. Contrastingly, Perugino's Spotsalizzo and Raphael's Lo Spotsalizzo showcases Mary with her right hand extended. The exact finger used for betrothal rings during the Renaissance is still a matter of historical ambiguity. Some cultures favoured the right hand for betrothal and wedding rings, while others have always used the left. This serves as a reminder that customs and traditions are far from uniform and are influenced by a multitude of factors. Today, the tradition varies across different cultures and countries. Some continue to use the right hand, while others have adopted the left. Regardless of the hand or finger chosen, the underlying sense sentiment remains. The ring is a symbol of commitment and enduring love. Whether the ring was placed on the right hand or the left, the depictions in these art pieces highlight the age-old significance of rings in symbolising betrothal and commitment. The exact finger and hand might vary, but this symbolic language of love spoken through these rings is constant across ages and cultures. As we delve into the mesmerising world of Renaissance paintings, it becomes apparent that the age-old tradition of presenting rings during betrothal ceremonies continues to echo in our present-day practices. However, the practice has evolved and adapted over the centuries to the cultural and societal nuances of different eras. The ubiquity of engagement rings today can be tracked back to the romantic customs of the Renaissance era, as depicted in the masterpieces of Guerlain, Di, Raphael and Perugino. The engagement ring was a profound symbol of commitment and devotion. Even today, when a couple decides to take their relationship to the next level, a ring often plays a significant role in that declaration of intent. The depiction of the left hand being the recipient of the betrothal ring as seen in the Girl and Dio's fresco aligns with the Western tradition of wearing the wedding ring on the left hand. It's fascinating to observe how these ancient customs have endured the test of time and continue to shape our rituals and traditions. Conversely, Raphael's and Perugino's portrayals of Mary's right hand suggest another set of traditions. Some cultures even today prefer to wear their wedding rings on the right hand. These paintings serve as a testament to the rich diversity of customs across different cultures and periods. Moreover, these works of art remind us that the tradition of exchanging rings is not just about the physical act, it is deeply symbolic, representing a bond that is both spiritual and emotional. Whether worn on the left or right hand, the ring is a sign of a promise made and the shared intent to honour that commitment. 
At Roberts & Co, we deeply value the historical significance and rich symbolism that rings have embodied throughout centuries. These pieces of jewellery are not just accessories, but tangible connections to a fascinating past filled with love, commitment and evolving traditions. Our designs draw inspiration from different eras, including the captivating Renaissance period. The profound expressions of love and devotion captured in frescoes and paintings such as those by the Guerlain Dio brothers, Raphael and Perugino, deeply resonate with our crafting ethos. Like these great masters, we understand that each ring is a narrative, a personal and intimate story of love and promise. From the distinct elements of our engagement rings to the refined elegance of our wedding bands, we strive to incorporate these influences into our collections. Each piece crafted at Robertson Co. carries with it echoes of history and whispers of age-old traditions, all while embodying contemporary aesthetics and superior craftsmanship. So we invite you to explore our collections and discover how the past beautifully intertwines with the present in each of our designs. Witness the timeless journey of affection and commitment captured in every ring we create. From the fingers of the Virgin Mary in Renaissance paintings to the hands of modern brides and grooms, rings have held a place of honour in our rituals and ceremonies. They have been symbols of commitment, tokens of affection and tangible reminders of the promise we make to each other. In the masterpieces by Guerlain Dio, Raphael and Perugino, we see a snapshot of a time when the ring was a sign of betrothal, a promise of a future together. Today the tradition has evolved, yet the spirit remains the same. The ring still marks a pact of love and fidelity. At Roberts & Co we're deeply influenced by this rich tapestry of history. Each ring we create is not just a piece of jewellery but a link to these centuries of tradition. We endeavour to create pieces that honour the past while embracing the present, creating symbols of love that will endure into the future and that wraps up another episode of the Robertson Co Jewelry Journal and it's been an absolute pleasure guiding you through the sparkling narrative of our precious pieces don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any future episodes where we continue to delve deeper into the enchanting world of jewellery if you wish to explore our collections or learn more about us please visit our official Robertson Co website and remember every piece of jewellery tells a story and we can't wait to be a part of yours so until next time keep shining and we hope to see you again soon